So I thought I would try something. I've pulled the repo for LibreChat into the Anything LLM. And that means it's now down here as a set of documents. So I can click on that and then move that to the workspace, save and embed, and now it should turn all of the information from the files for LibreChat into the RAG RAG context for that workspace, which I quite like that that works that way. Um, because it lets you constrain that lets you constrain that information like to just that workspace, which is quite cool. And I think if I go to the streaming of the logs, we can see what it's doing. So just go to the Coolify logs. So we can see it is turning it into vector information in the RAG database. So I'll just pause it. I won't, I won't force us to watch it because I think it'll be there for a while. It's quite a few files, so I'll just pause it and let it keep going. And then I'll pause the recording. Uh, I think it's done. I was going for about half an hour, I think. So it might be finished. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's all locally processed, so you know, the computer I'm using, I'm sure if it was faster it would do it quicker, but anyway. Um, okay, so if I go back to... Yeah, so those documents are now all in the rag. So what I'm wondering, on the chat here, I was going to see if I could figure out something with the... So when you do the chat prompts, right, it adds this word enter in front of it. So I was thinking... I might see if I can ask the AI in here where the word enter comes from. So um, in the custom prompts, when you add questions, the start of each question has the word enter. Do you know where in the code base that is? I don't know if this is going to work or not. Maybe? I'm assuming it's now checking. Can I tell from that? <coughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I think that's what that's doing. Okay, turning to. Um, I think that means it's getting details, like a chunk, and giving it to Gemini. Is that what that means? Maybe. How long is this supposed to take? Oh, okay. Alright, well let's have a look and see if that actually is true. So, I have the repo here in another window. Hang on a second. Okay, so that's the 
the repo. So it's telling me it's starting a translation. Uh, okay, so why am I saying that it's starting a translation? About, about English. But maybe it's in locale. So client src locales. Let's see if I can find uh, client. Um, SRC. <coughs> do I go to north? Um, locales. En. Translation. Uh, okay. Is the word enter in here? Enter a conversation starter. I've seen here lots of times. Enter an email address. Enter a value for. And it just sort of sits by itself. It doesn't really. Oh man, I go through all these. Enter. Is that it? I wonder if that's it. That line there. Uh, I think that might be the last one in the file, or it's the only one. The other ones all seem to be attached to something. Is it this? Is it this one? On line, where was it? Six six four. I don't know. I guess it probably doesn't have line six six four in it. So. I suppose I can give it the exact file. I wonder if I can give it the file that is in the repo. If I download this file, download raw file, uh, I don't know, put a JSON file in there. What's it doing in the background? Translation key is very like responsible. Okay. So I wonder if I can just remove the word enter. This is the is there another file I'll give you to look at to confirm this is the case? Uh, the file where the for making custom prompts. this code base and I'm also not really on the developer side of things so I don't know. Could be anywhere in here. Maybe it can tell me. Alright. Okay. Prompt form. So SRC components prompts prompt form. Okay, so SRC components is in sort of the right place. Prompt prompt form. Uh, 
Alright. Might just download that and prompt editor and prompt details. Okay. I don't know if I can read these files, but we'll find out. Prompt editor. Hey, my computer's really struggling with this. Uh, prompt details. I don't know if it's going to be able to read these TSX files, but I guess this will be an interesting experiment. Let's see. If it converts on a text, it'll be alright. Oh, I gave you that file. Oh, maybe it couldn't do that. Oh, no. Maybe I can just suggest a change anyway. Um, what was it in language? Curls, EN, translation. Let's go down to six. Uh, oh, it's got to be this one, right? Yeah, okay. Well, how about I'll see if I can submit a pull, pull, pull request for that but um, that's kind of cool uh, you know, being able to drag the repo in and ask questions about it was good I like that I don't think there's an equivalent to that in LibreChat I don't know I had a look and I couldn't see an equivalent to that is attached files, manage files, but it doesn't seem like I don't think there's a way of pulling a whole repository in, or if there is, I haven't seen it, but maybe there is, and I don't know about it anyway. Cool feature. So I like some of the things of anything LLM and of LibreChat, but unfortunately, some not everything is crossed over. Like there's no workspace in LibreChat, like there is in anything LLM.